Hi guys, welcome to Strength Reversed. My name is Amy. I thought I would do a little walkthrough today of a deck that I have had for many years and have never used. <laughs> and this is Linda Goodman's Star Cards. And it says a divination set inspired by the astrological and numerological teachings of Linda Goodman. So she did not um, create this deck. It was created by Crystal Bush, who apparently is her protege, and it was illustrated by Frank Riccio. Um, I got this deck, I think, at a library book sale. And it was one of those things where I knew I might not use it, but I couldn't afford not to. And um, it's kind of cool. Now, I am only into astrology and numerology in really general ways. Um, I'm interested in learning more, but after looking at this deck, I don't know how much it would actually teach me about either of those concepts. There are only 33 cards. Some of them are pretty similar. Some of them seem pretty random which is my complaint with many Oracle decks. I'm just not super into Oracle decks for that reason. It seems a little bit random, and it hardly covers the spectrum of the human experience. Um, so, I don't know. I, I just want people who are into these topics a little more to tell me what they think about these cards. Um... Now, Linda Goodman, if you are into numerology, maybe you understand what Chaldean, Chaldean um, numerology is. Apparently, there are many kinds of numerology. Well, that's what she uses. So when you open the deck, there is a book, and the book is go, doesn't go into a whole lot of detail, there's very, it assumes a lot of background knowledge about numerology. Um, and it just talks about basically doing daily draws, and then there are a couple of other spreads that you might use these cards for. And then each card has a full page in black and white, and then um, one page about the meaning. There are 33 cards total, and it's almost like a majors only deck. So we have a couple of title cards. This, this um, deck and book were both published in 2000. And the back of the cards looks like this. The, now the card stock is super, it's not the sturdiest but I will walk through these cards. Some of them are really akin to some of the major arcana cards in a tarot deck, and some of them are not. So let me zoom in here. Okay, so number one is the sun. The moon. Jupiter, um, we'll say Uranus, okay, Mercury, Venus is number six, Neptune, Saturn, Mars, number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune, so definitely based on a tarot card maybe. Lion Muzzled Clenched Fist, <laughs> that's number 11. Sacrifice Victim is 12. 13 is Regeneration Change, which would sort of be indicative of a death card. 14, Movement Challenge. And we have kind of an angel like Temperance. Um, 15 is Magician. 
Shattered Citadel is the t like a tower. Star of Magi. Spiritual Material Conflict, which would maybe be like a Devil card. Prince of Heaven. Awakening. Kind of a Judgment card. Crown of Magi. Submission and Caution. Royal Star of the Lion. Love, Money, Creativity. Discrimination and Analysis. Partnerships. Scepter. Trusting Lamb. Grace Under Pressure. Loner Meditation. Which is different than the Recluse Hermit. Thirty two is communication, and then thirty three is love and magic. So, um, let me know what you guys think if you're into astrology and numerology, if that made more sense to you than it does to me. <laughs> but I just thought I would share these because I've had them for so long and it's kind of a cool deck, but, um, May I, I guess I could pick a card every day. Okay, let me know what you think if you're into astrology and numerology. Is that something you could work with? Let me know. Thanks, guys.